Hey guys, it's Green here again today with another video. Um, this week or today, I'm bringing you the Red Queen. This is a piece that I had started in a live stream last week. Uh, for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I missed a video on the 11th of November, which is Friday, because my uploads are Thursdays or Tuesdays and Fridays, sorry. Um, but life just kicked in yesterday and it wasn't possible for me to get this video up. And um, I will be uploading it today and regular schedule videos will be back again for next week so I apologize for that um, but like I said life sometimes kicks in and you just really can't help it um, anyway moving on to the picture uh, like I said this is the Red Queen that I started in a live stream and um, I figured the best thing to do is to go ahead and finish the video um, to upload to my channel because I wasn't really sure when I was going to be able to live stream again to finish it so I thought this was the best thing to do because you've already seen the first part of the video um, or you know through the live stream so you, maybe there are some people that would like to see the finished result of the picture as well um, so I wanted to go ahead and use just watercolor in this piece but I quickly realized that there were some things that I wanted to do that I couldn't do with just watercolor so I did bring in some a little bit of acrylic paint for the crown there and uh, I'm using some gouache and everything on the face and I did bring in Copics just a little bit later um, and this was a picture that um, obviously inspired by Alice in Wonderland um, but I did find a um, a picture online through Google, um, Google Images, where someone else had drawn a picture similar to this in a, like a similar, not the style as such, but the way maybe that her face and her hair is shaped. I kind of went with that. Um, the hair and everything is completely different than the picture that I got reference from, so it's really nothing like the original picture, which is good. You should never copy someone else's work right to a T. Um, it's okay to use references, but, you know, just um, go easy on what you pick and choose from the reference photos. Uh, with that being said, uh, I decided to do just the, um, you know, from the chest up this time because the last picture I did was very, very detailed. And I didn't want to have all my Alice in Wonderland inspired pieces to look the same. I wanted them all to be different. Um, so I decided to go this way with uh, with this illustration. And uh, overall, it took about five hours, give or take. There are some parts of the illustration, the painting of it, that I didn't record because when I got to the hair, it was very tedious drawing all of the uh, the circles and the uh, the pinwheels and everything in her hair. So uh, I know people don't want to sit there for hours looking at the same thing over and over again. So I did kind of cut that out just a little bit. So. Uh, with the picture itself, um, I am painting this on 140 pound cold pressed uh, Strathmore uh, watercolor paper. I'll get it out in a second here. And uh, I am using, like I said, various mediums. And I was using a water brush at first. And then when I got up to the hair, I'm like, I need a bigger brush for this. So I ended up stopping in, you know, mid creative process and running to my local Walmart and picked up some Jayla Rowney um, paintbrushes which are not great. This paintbrush that I'm using right now in this part of the video, the bristles kept falling out and I had to pick them out of the painting and oh, I was so disappointed but it was the only thing that I had available to me so I had to make it work. Um, for those of you who are following along and have been following along for a while, you know I live in northern Manitoba, uh, which is in Canada, and I'm about eight to ten hours away from the nearest craft store. Um, so that's very disappointing, and sometimes I just have to use what's available to me, and I have no other choice. But um, <clears throat> anyhow, excuse me, um, I'm still getting over a cold and, and other issues, so bear with my voice here. Uh, so the background I painted with uh, my ink tents. I just used the black ink tents block and I just added extra water so that it didn't come out as black because there really isn't a gray in this set of um, ink tents blocks. So I had to pretty much make my own and I tried to do a little bit of a gradient background. Um, towards the end of the video, um, I do work on the background just slightly a little bit more, but then I decided um, after the video was finished that it wasn't dark enough for me so I did do some changes to the video or to the illustration sorry after the video was finished um, I did 
darken up the collar around her neck there and I did darken up the the background in certain places as well so not um, really big changes it wouldn't have made a difference if they were in the video or not um, but I it, she does look a tiny 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 bit different than she does on this video so uh, the hair I painted with intense as well the face um, because it was white, I decided to use a white gouache, and I didn't want to leave it the color of the canvas. I, I just wanted to make sure that there was paint everywhere, um, whether it be the gouache or the ink tents or whatnot. Um, pretty much everything else was painted with the ink tents except for the crown. The crown was a Lumiere fabric paint that I had that was gold, um, and I'm using it here to put some little details in the corners of her uh, her dress there. Um, and I used a little bit of Copics up in the eyes and um, because I couldn't get the colors that I wanted and uh, that's pretty much um, all the paint that I've used. Uh, in the hair at the end I do use um, a little bit of white Prismacolor pencil and that wasn't working out too well for me so I swapped that out for a uh, Uniball white pigment pen and that's how I get the white details up in the hair closer to the end of the video. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video, um, for what I can talk about to the video, actually. And um, so I just want to let you guys know that this painting is for sale. Uh, I do have it listed on my Facebook um, page for now. Uh, it will be going up on Etsy, so if you're interested in purchasing it, uh, it will be available on my Etsy site um, in the next little while if you'd like to go and check it out. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. Or even if you know there's something else there that you might want to check out that's in my shop, that would be pretty great too. Uh, looking at this picture here, I do notice that one of the eyes is bigger than the other, and I do go in and fix that in just a little bit and uh, make them both the size. So I just wanted to stick that in there. Um, but yeah, she will be available on my Etsy store. I am um, working on getting her on Redbubble as well as prints and uh, stickers and all that fun stuff. So you can check out that on my Redbubble shop later today as well. And um, Let's see what else what else um for those of you who may be watching that are local i have two more um craft fairs or expos coming up that i'll be attending the week of uh, november 19th and november 26th that will be my last two craft fairs for the year if you're local want to check those out you can find uh where i'll be on my facebook page and uh just wanted to let you guys know also that if you would like to follow me in other social media platforms i'm on twitter tumblr and i I stream on Twitch sometimes and most recently I like I said I've been trying to stream on YouTube as well uh, that's pretty much it that's all I have to say uh, rather than uh, keeping you here and listening to me babble on I'll add in a little bit of music um, one other thing that I wanted to mention before I do go though is that I would like to make a Q&A video um, like an art chat kind of thing and answer some questions that you guys may have uh, whether it be about the supplies I use or um, about me if there's something that you would like to know or you know anything that is art related or somewhat on a personal level but not uh, too personal if, if you know what I mean uh, if you would like to be a part of my Q&A video, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and a question down in the, uh, in the comment section there. And um, I'd be happy to include your question in, uh, in the next video that I create where I do the question uh, or the Q&A video. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys with a bit of music here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope you do like the painting. And, um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, you can go ahead and do so. This, maybe there might be some future videos that you might enjoy to see but uh, yeah again thanks so much for watching and um, enjoy the music here with the rest of the video <music>
guys so much for watching my video today if you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment down below share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos until next time thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye for now